What's up guys, welcome back. This is Big Sam with Big Sam's F Stops. And today I have this exciting, 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 most exciting of all lenses. It's the Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter F 2.8 IS, which stands for Image Stabilization version 2. Not the version 3, but the version 2 USM. And uh, we're going to be delving deeper into this right after this. Welcome back, folks. I got this again. I get quite a lot of my gear from the guys in BH Photo Studios out there in New York. And before I got this, I did a lot of research between the version 2 and the version 3. The version 3 is the latest iteration of it. And I quite honestly couldn't see a lot of a difference. Now the most important thing in the version 3, this is not a comparison video, but the most important thing about the version 3 is that it's got this the newfangled lens coating on the internal, I mean the, the front elements and the rear elements and kind of cuts down, flaring and so on and so forth. But I kind of thought, well, I'm not going to be pointing my camera at the sun, so I don't really need that. Besides, it's just with way inside my pocket. But we're not going to dwell too much on that. We're going to go straight into this with my trusty new pen knife. Cut this open and see what we got inside. Let's put this back, set it aside for safety, and let's see what's inside this. Now, the 70 to 200 is probably that, that focal range is probably the most popular and the most consistent of um, focal lens in cameras because the lens is sorry because every lens manufacturer has one like most other focal ranges there'll be a slight difference um, Canon will have a 16 to 35 and uh, but Tamron will have say the 15 to 30 and so on and so forth but consistently the 17, 70 to 200 millimeter focal range is just one range that every lens manufacturer has one. In. This one comes in this very beautiful carrying case. And uh, as it's open this way, the Velcro at the top, and there she is. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lens. I'm going to close this and set it aside. That's our case there. And you just know again that this is a wonderful lens. It feels hefty. It feels good in the hand. Um, we have a lens wheel here. Let's configure how to get that out of the way. Please press us. Uh, it's kind of close. That's the problem here. Oh yeah, there you go. So lens hood, and I don't know what's wrong with Canon, but this lens hood, if you have it, don't lose. It's very expensive to get another one. I think this is a. Uh, I can't remember the size of this screen number. There she is. This is a very very beautiful lens, folks. It's got um, all the buttons here: image stabilization. Mode 1, Mode 2, I'm sure that is for panning if you're going up and down. Uh, you can put stabilization either on or off. You have auto and manual focus switch. And then the focus limiter. Um, you have a, a tripod ring around there. I'm sure this comes off, but in subsequent videos we're going to be taking a closer look at it. And folks, this is just an all-round wonderful lens. It feels good, looks good. And um, in subsequent videos, we're going to be digging deeper into its specifications. We're going to take it out to the field. We're going to shoot some video with it. We're going to shoot some landscape with it. We're going to shoot some portrait with it. And then I'll come back and tell you my experience with it. For those of you who already have this lens, let me know what your experience is. How have you, had, how have you fared with it? What do you use it for the most? Leave a comment for me in the comment section down below. And um, also, um, click the subscribe button and hit the bell button so that once we have the next video, you will be the first to receive it. 
I'm going to have a lot more information on these wonderful, wonderful guys for you in the next edition. But for now, thank you very much for being here with us and look forward to seeing you again real soon. My name is Big Sam. I'll see you in the next video.